Far from the Baltic, a Latvian Coast Guard vessel casts off from the port on the holiday island of Lesbos. Other EU warships wait beyond. A lone signal of European unity designed to stop refugees ever reaching mainland Europe and to keep those that are on this island from going any further. Back on the dockside, refugees and tourists pass each other on the same stretch of pavement. These men from war-devastated Syria. They've been here four months. And you want to go Japan, where? Anyway, where do you want to go? Or not? Which country? Almania, Germany, Germany. Yeah, Holland, Holland. Uh, Scotland. Uh, Scotland? Uh, yeah, all crew. America? Yeah, going Holland. America? Yeah. We're going Ho On the road out of town, we encounter refugee families heading down from the camps to buy provisions. They're in flight from war in Iraq, in Syria, in Afghanistan. Hello, sir. How, How are you? Fine. How, are you? Fine. How long have you been here? Yeah, four months. Four months? Yeah. From Afghanistan? Yes. From Kabul? Kabul, Afghanistan, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And how is it? But, but please. Really? Really, but. Where do you want to go? You are not going to the Germany. Germany? Yeah. From high ground, the Moria camp, set between the lonely sea and the sky. This is the closest we're able to penetrate what is the biggest camp on Lesbos. We're prohibited from entering a place where children play, but which has also become an extremely stressed place. Built for a thousand, now coping with over 6,000. Here they languish in no man's land, caught between a blasted past and a Europe unwilling to have them come further. There have been, at times, violent fights and protests fueled by overcrowding. Not far away, in an overspill camp, a bulldozer levels another terrace that will take yet more tents. This is an informal settlement aided by the UN. In one tent, two Iraqis from Mosul. Another man, a Syrian, produces an X-ray. He says he was attacked by ISIS in Dera, has a serrated steel rod keeping his foot together. Outside, a Yemeni mother washes clothes, another refugee victim of war. Left to pick up the pieces, the UNHCR. We talk to their regional director. There is no reason to keep as many persons on these islands. It has broken, actually, the trust between the solidarity that we have seen uh, exercised by the local community towards refugees that we have all been celebrating. This is creating violence and mistrust between local communities and refugees because of, of a bad management of the situation. The plight of Jewish children driven from Germany has stirred the sympathy and conscience of the rest of the world. Where child refugees are concerned, we've been here before. Back in 1938, these adults were saved as children from the Nazis, brought to Britain by Nicholas Winton on the Kinder Transport Scheme. His daughter joined us in Greece at the Melissa Centre for Refugee Mothers and Children, supported by the charity Safe Passage. I have articles from my father's scrapbook of the time that have the same sentiments in them. We don't want these Jews in our country taking our jobs and upsetting the horses or whatever that, that you read in the papers today. So I know there was opposition then, but what we carry as a nation of that time is the kind of a positive narrative of how compassionate we were and how worthwhile it was and how much those child refugees have grown up to contribute. The architect of a scheme to bring unaccompanied child refugees to Britain today, Lord Dubbs, himself a kinder transport child, joined us on Lesbos to look at one camp that is locally run and functioning well. What I want to achieve here is to have a better understanding of the difficulties, to see what the British government could do to help, to see what the European Union could do to help, to see what the agencies can do to help. The situation in parts of the camps here is desperate. We saw a camp earlier today. It was just like the jungle in Calais at its very worst. This is better. This mm. is a better place. There are differences. But we want to be able to get a good picture to see what help is needed and who we can argue with to provide that help. But the pressure on a camp like this is so great that it is questionable whether here too the music, the therapy, the care will also be overwhelmed. What is a Middle East refugee crisis unseen since the Second World War needs decisive international resolution fast. 
But as the EU wrangles over what to do with these many thousands of refugees stranded on five Greek islands, they appear to be destined for now to a life of citizens of nowhere in ever-worsening conditions.